and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is exactly one swap which is marked as a medium level problem but believe me the way i am going to explain it to you it will become a very easy problem to you so without wasting any time let's get started but before that if you have not subscribed the channel yet please subscribe because i will be uploading daily videos of these questions uh, on midnight okay all right so let's see what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one string s and its length can be anything from 2 to 10 raised to the power 4 and what we have to do we have to return the number of distinct strings that can be obtained by exactly one swap of different indices okay all right so basically we have to swap one like uh, I can swipe this G with E, I can swipe this G with K, I can swipe this E with K, this E with G, something like that. Okay, so we can swap these elements and we have to count the number of distinct strings we can make and we have to return that count. Okay, all right. I think the problem statement will be a bit clear to you. Um, let's take some examples. So here you can see geek. So after one swap, there are only six different strings possible. What are those? E, G, E, K. Okay. Here, uh, let me take the marker. So E, G, E, K, which means this E is swapped with this G. Okay. And then the second one is E, E, G, K, where this E is swapped with this G. Okay. And the second one is geek where this E is swapped with this E. Okay. And uh, so here you can see E and E both are swapped. So the string remains same. After that, the next one is this K is swapped with this E. And after that, this K is swapped with this E. And after that, uh, this G is swapped with K. So in this way, we got six distinct strings and we have returned the count. I think uh, now it will be clear. So this is what we have to do. It looks a bit, uh, uh, what we can say, a tricky problem. But uh, uh, so uh, let's think of the approaches one by one, which we can make. Uh, we can use a hash set here. Okay, we can use a hash set where what I will do, I will convert this string to array and then we will be, let's say, uh, swapping the two indexes i and j. I will run a two loop i and j and I will swap them and I will convert that array to string and then save to hash set. But here we have to run this loop twice. Like uh, for loop will be one inside the another and it will be the time complexity will be n square. But here if you will see the constraint 10 raised to the power 4. So n square will be something like 10 raised to the power 8 and it will most likely give us time limit exceed. So we have to find a better solution and what better solution is coming in my mind. Let me tell you very quickly. I will go to this one note here and uh, geek okay so what we can find out is look if suppose this g how many new strings i can form with this g three why because i will place this e this g once here this g once here and i will place this g once here so three strings i can form by changing the place of g okay after that, how many strings I can form by E? Let me delete this. Oh, oh, select. Why it's not selecting? Okay. Mm, yeah. How many strings I can form by swapping this E? So if I will swap this E with here, 1, I will swap this E with this E, again 1, and then I will swap this E with this K, so 3, okay. And then again for the same this E, 
I will swap once with G. I will swap once with E and I will again swap this with K. So here you can see this is doubling. Like when once I counted this E to be swapped with this E, uh, the string will be geek. Then I counted this E to be swapped with this E. Again, the string will be same. So only two new strings I can form. Only two new strings I can form by let's say swapping this E's. So two and then again two with for this E and then one K. For K, I can get three strings. Okay, so three. So total number of strings which I can form is three, three, six, two, eight, two, ten. Okay, uh, there is a catch here. The catch is, if you can see, uh, something is not deleted yet. The catch is what? Catch is, look, once I am counting this G with E swapping, okay. Then I am again counting this E swapping with this G. You, you see, like once I counted this 3, why? Because I am swapping this G with E. Then again I am counting 1 here because I am swapping this E with G. So what I am going to do, I am going to divide this by 2. Because each a, a swapping is counted and we have to swap in pairs. So if I am swapping this E with G, so G with E is also counted. So 10 by divide by 2 is equal to 5. Okay. But here, if you remember I did 2 here, 2 here because E swapping with this E will be same. E swapping with this E will be same. So it will be something like if any frequency, if any element frequency is present two times, I will only add one to it. 5 plus 1 which is equal to 6. Okay. Now let me take one more example. Let me remove all this. Uh, insert. G, E, E, K, E again. Okay. Uh, increase its size to 48, let's say. Okay. Again, look here. For G, how many new strings I will get? Ones with this, one with this, one with this, one with this. Okay. So, four. Four new strings I will get by swapping with G. Okay. Now for this E, how many new strings I will get? If I will swap this E with G, one I will get. If I will swap this E with K, two I get, like two. Okay. Because look, one I, when I will swap this E with this E, a string will be same. When I will swap this E with this E, a string will be same. Because look, E and E swapped string is same so we have to count the distinct number of strings i think you guys are getting this so that's why only two same with this e only g and k only g and k so two again for this k how many come on guys four okay and this e again two all right so total sum is what four four eight and 614 okay uh, as we know we have divided counted each string two times so i will divide it by two which will be equal to seven now one thing which we still have to do is if any one look here this current string g e e k e is not added any time but we have to add it once because when this e will be swapped with this e when this e will be swapped with this e when this E will be swapped with this E, a string will be G, E, E, K, E, which is current one. So, if any frequency is present, if any element is present more than once, I will simply add plus one here. Okay, so answer will be eight. I think you guys have got it why, what we are doing, why we are doing. And if we talk about the approach, approach is very simple. First of all, first of all, what? Create a map. First of all, create a map of frequencies. Okay. Create a map of frequency like G frequency is 1, E frequency is 3, K frequency is 1. 
uh, yeah okay after that what i'm going to do i'm going to have one answer variable okay and i will increase the answer by what total length of a string is 5 5 minus what 5 minus g frequency is 1 so how many characters how many new strings i can form with g 4 e if again for e 5 minus e frequency is what 3 so 5 minus 3 is what 2 so in this way i am going to add answer plus for all this so here we will be doing 4 2 2 4 2 we will get this after that i will divide it by 2 after that i will check if any element is present twice it means i just have to add 1 at the last and return the count i think you guys have got it so this is what we have to do and it's pretty simple the code is pretty simple but the logic is a bit tricky and i have tried my best to explain it i think the last one to add plus one here if any element is present more than once will be also clear to you so if you have liked this explanation please subscribe the channel and like the video comment down if you have got it or not and one more thing uh, you can see this brain icon here where uh, this modal opens and if you are solving this problem with my help my video you have to add this problem here so that you can revise it again and then the logic will be like framed in your mind so i have made this chrome extension with the purpose of revision so you can you should download it from the pinned comment and check it out i hope you will definitely like it also if you are wanting to give some mock interviews uh, the link is will be in the description fill the form and i will take your mock interviews and that's it let's quickly see the code as well um, first of all i'm going to have a map of character and frequency will be integer let's make it frequency is equal to new hash map and guys look the code in c plus plus and java basically syntax is changed you can get this code on my github as well so for car s uh, car ch s dot to car array something like this and frequency of ch or we can we have to write something like frequency dot put what ch and uh, frequency dot get or default ch comma zero plus one what it is doing basically i am putting this frequency is a map i am putting this character ch and if any like ch value is already present in map i am trying to get it and add plus one but if this ch is not present in map i am adding it for the first time i am saying that its frequency will be zero because it's not added yet and plus one to it so one okay otherwise if it is already added simply do plus one so this is what java provides and after that when i will come here i will declare one variable answer is equal to zero i will try to get the length of this string length is equal to s dot length actually this is my personal laptop i'm used to my company laptop so keyboard is like changed so that's why many mistypings happen now what we have to do uh, simple again iterate over this whole string ch one by one s dot to care array and look what i told answer plus is equal to what total length minus frequency of this character okay so how can i get the frequency of this character frequency dot get ch okay and after that what i told i have to divide it by two answer divide by equal to two because i have counted each thing two times okay after that what we have to do i have to simply check if any element is present more than once if yes i have to do plus one to it why i have already explained so let's take a boolean uh, let's say flag it's currently false and uh, i will be checking it here if frequency dot get ch is greater than one i will simply turn this flag to true something like this and answer 
plus is equal to flag so i will increase it by one otherwise i will increase it by zero which is like nothing and after that i will simply return the answer i let's try to compile this i think it should get compiled i'm also solving it after a long time six six let's try to submit it meanwhile if you have loved my explanation please subscribe the channel like the video comment down how was the explanation it will really motivate me a lot check out this chrome extension which is very very helpful and i am going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye